Hi guys, Mr. Sonnenberg here. Today we're going to be talking about scrubbers. Uh, this is for Science 9 students studying environmental chemistry. This is topic 3 in your textbook. So a scrubber, okay, what it is is it uses a sorbent. Uh, and a sorbent is a substance that uh, can absorb or capture ox oxides. So if you just draw your attention down here, a sorbent. So here's a picture of a sorbent that you might find inside of a scrubber. But what a scrubber does is it takes the oxide emissions uh, from in industries or thermoelectric power plants, anything that burns coal, and what that can do is it uh, it can create a huge, uh, a, I guess, a vast volume of these oxides. And remember, the oxides are what are forming in the combination of water. They form uh, our acid precipitation, our acid rain, and then that increases the acidity of our lakes <clears throat> and our water bodies thus affecting aquatic uh, ecosystems around uh, the globe so one way for us to decrease the emissions and the amount of these uh, oxides that end up combining with water and, and decrease the amount of, of a acid precipitation or acid rain that uh, develops is through the use of scrubbers. So, um, <clears throat> what happens in scrubbers is they're a, a really cool technology actually, and what they're going to do is they're going to severely decrease the number of oxide emissions. So, that's kind of what you want to know um, with regards to scrubbers is that they are going to decrease the amount of oxide emissions and as we go through this screencast what we'll actually do is we'll talk about uh, one particular system called the Cobra system but we'll talk about the process in which scrubbers actually uh, function so the key to scrubbing and this is going to be quite important right here understanding this concept but the key to scrubbing is uh, or scrubbing exhaust gases is the addition of calcium oxide and you'll find that right here sorry I erased that but calcium oxide CaO okay so what we're going to do is we're going to add that and it can react with the sulfur dioxide gas and what it's going to form is uh, calcium sulfite okay and <clears throat> excuse me the oxide that I'm talking about in this case is uh, sulfur dioxide gas. So we're forming calcium sulfite. And so basically what happens if you just draw your attention to this picture, what's going to happen here is we're going to see the uh, burning okay, uh, through combustion. We're going to see exhaust fumes come up through here. So that's where we're going to get this SO2. And now this sulfur dioxide gas is going to make its way into the scrubber. So now this is the burner, the scrubber, and then we have the smokestack over here. So what actually, what's actually going to happen is there is water and calcium oxide that is distributed or it's added okay, here. And so what's going to happen is the calcium uh, oxide is going to combine with the H2O. It's going to react to produce calcium hydroxide. Oops. Now, I want you to draw your attention to the hydroxide part because we know hydroxide is a base and it can neutralize an acid. So, the other process that occurs inside the scrubber is we're going to see the sulfur or sulfur dioxide, so the SO2 gas, combine also with water. And when those two combine, we're actually going to get H2SO3, and we're going to get an acid. So then right here, with the excess of hydrogen ions, we're going to get an acid. So now what happens when we add the hydroxide, okay, when we add this hydroxide and it combines with the uh, water, we're actually going to get uh, a neutralization that occurs and we're going to form water. So if I was to take the calcium 
hydroxide and I was to it reacted with the hydrogen sulfite then what I'm actually going to get here is I'm going to get calcium okay, sulfite plus H2O and then what happens is is we can collect um, what's left and then we can emit any if this was a liquid or water vapor uh, or if it's a liquid we can actually collect that and we can reuse the water and then any uh, other gases are going to be released through the smokestack but that's the process that occurs so we take this sulfur dioxide in the burner that uh, moves through the flue which is going to transfer it into the actual scrubber itself which is right here and then it's going to combine and we see these two processes that are going to occur and then we see the combination and we produce water so now we've taken that sulfur uh, dioxide that natural oxide we it we've seen the formation of an acid which usually if it was released into the atmosphere into the air would uh, react with water and it would produce acid rain but now what we've done is we've uh, created a chemical reaction and we've we beat that and we've actually separated uh, excuse me we separated um, this using this sorbent uh, which is the uh, calcium oxide and we've separated the sulfur um, or we've combined the sulfur dioxide and we've actually broken it apart and we've actually we can collect it so it's a, it's a fantastic technology and there's one system that's really good and that's the cobra system and so um, these newer technologies they utilize uh, metal oxide sorbents okay so what it is is it's a small aluminum oxide but it's impregnated with copper and they're just beads so just like I showed in the picture of the person with their hand out with the beads in it this is the same situation but what you're gonna get is you're gonna get this aluminum okay and this copper so as a result of the copper being in what's going to happen is um, <clears throat> sulfur sulfuric acid and uh, sulfur sulfuric acid and ammonia sulfate uh, fertilizer can be recovered as byproducts which then is going to create extra revenue for the industry so as opposed to uh, what they do in traditional scrubbers is they collect uh, what what is left over from the reaction and the, the leftover products are actually taken to landfill in this Cobra system they actually designed a way by using these aluminum uh, and copper beads uh, what they've learned they can do is they can create fertilizers and now they can actually create revenue they can create money for the industry by not just throwing them in a landfill but by reusing them um, as a form of fertilizer so an added bonus to this uh, Cobra scrubber is the addition of ammonia to the heated gas triggers a catalytic reaction that breaks down nitrogen oxides into nitrogen oxygen gas and water vapor so we're actually breaking it down and uh, so they've learned technology is advanced and they've learned various ways that we can actually uh, to use these scrubbers but now we can reuse and we can emit uh, very useful gases and we can reuse the products and create revenue and also uh, decrease waste so really good system um, it's fantastic technology uh, and this is a couple pictures of scrubber systems just to show you just some other ideas of how a scrubber would work but uh, so that's scrubbers guys uh, the use of sorbents okay uh, to use these scrubbers this one example was the Cobra system and you uh, hopefully you've taken notes on this again if you have questions please bring them to me in class when we discuss it okay thanks for tuning in guys bye